Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Hakuna La Planta. My name is Kevin, and today we are going to look at plants that I'm currently propagating. For those who haven't realized yet, I am obsessed with chopping up my plants and making more. And I usually compile a bunch of videos from the initial chop and a few updates. But I guess today, guys, you can have a sneak peek um, add a few things that I'm propagating. I am in the process of still filming updates for these plants. Also, I do understand it is really bright. <laughs> I am filming this on my lunch break. I'm working from home right now. Um, and the sun is, it is, it is. <laughs> it's just like high up in the sky right now. And everywhere I move, like there's this weird like do you want to see me like that? I don't like that. Or like, oh, that's better. Anyways, I don't think it's going to be focused on me a lot. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like y'all can see every detail in my face. And that makes me a little bit uncomfortable. But I'm just going to have to deal with it. Because this is the only time I could film a video. <laughs> okay, so before I start this video, if you're not subscribed to my channel and you like this kind of content, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram if you like planty things and all of that. Okay, so I'll first start off... Words right now. Okay, so I'll first start off by saying that I propagate my plants in different mediums. I propagate my plants in different environments. So um, there's not one set thing that I do. Um, currently, a lot of my plants are propagating in perlite, and all those propagations in perlite are in a prop box. But yeah, at the very bottom here, this is where I keep my prop box. Okay, so I set up my camera on my tripod, and we're just gonna open the box and take a look. I haven't opened this in, I think, a week to two weeks. But, uh, wow. Oh my god, the... Okay, we're just jumping into it. Oh, this crazy, the amount of growth. This is the philodendron gold violin. And the last time I checked, like there were no leaves, like it had roots, but oh, whoa, oh my gosh. And because they are, I don't want to say they're sun stressed, but because they're under a grow light, the leaves have come out yellow. Oh my gosh, this is so amazing. I don't know how many wet sticks are in here but i think there are i don't know i'm just gonna make a guess seven eight five i don't know look how wonderful and majestic this plant was and then the rips got it and then it looked like this what in tarnation um i have my microscope i guess and i see one crawling and she's crawling fast so we're going to just go like that. And there she, I don't know if it's a she, but look how awful. Oh, what a nightmare. I'm actually very scared to bring these out of the box because I'm afraid they might you know, go through a lot of stress acclimating, but we'll see. Okay, so back you go. Ooh, okay, the next one, guys. <laughs> I have never talked about these plants. So these are little <laughs> baby philodendron adabapoensi. A year-ish ago, I chopped up my plant, and this is before I knew about how to properly propagate my plants and the plant didn't do so well. So I was left with sticks again, and like, look at these. Okay, so let's go through them one by one. Oh, these leaves are so cute. Oh my gosh, yeah, because the leaves were coming out like that, and they didn't have that classic adabapoensi shape, but now they're long, and okay, they still don't have the red backs but so cute and let me show you the other one this one is doing great also i am so happy wow okay so this one guys this is the hoya 
Macrivirillarii. Okay, so I got this plant from Crystal Star Nursery. Uh, the top part of the plant, it didn't look like there were any new growth points coming out of it. Below this plant, there was a couple growth points. So because I saw that, I decided to chop off the top part, which is this, and that's what this is. So I can already see guys right there, guys. Can you see that? There are two growth points. That's so exciting. Okay. This is a sad story, guys. This is my Anthurium Crystallinum crossed with Magnificum. And I think I showed you guys in that video, the main propagation video for that plant, that this leaf didn't have roots, um, but it was okay. And like, I'm really hesitant to take it out, but I guess because it's like not doing great. <sighs> oh, there is a new root. That is the first time I'm seeing a new root on this plant. Okay, let me tell you the story about this leaf. So this leaf originally looked like this over here and um, she's a little cutie. There was a time I didn't shut the lid of this box properly. So uh, I checked on it the next day or maybe a week and <laughs> it looked like this. So um, you know what, it still has a root. So I'm just going to keep it in the perlite, keep it in the prop box, and we'll see if anything grows from that. Moving on right beside it. Oh my gosh. Ah, it's so cute. Okay, this is the a major medium silver. Oh my God, babies. So one, two, three, I think that's it. So yeah, when I propagated my Medrium Medium Silver, um, there was a lot of runner. So I basically put the runners into uh, perlite and they grew roots and now they have new leaves. I knew they had roots, but I didn't see the leaves. So <gasps> Whoa, this is wild, but I'm so happy that these ones ooh, don't lift it that much. Let's push it back down but I'm so happy that these ones are doing well. Okay, back you go. Okay, right above that. My Philodendron Brantiatum. It looks like there's some baby leaves over here, guys. There's one over there. Yeah, I wanted to propagate my big plant, but I just couldn't. So I just took one stem and just cut it into single node cuttings. And yeah, shove them into perlite. And here we are today. Okay, so this is a Philodendron Paraiso Verde. So I originally took this plant out, put it into Leca, and it started to die. Like you could see, <laughs> you could see the crispiness and like, I still don't know how it's doing. I put it back in the, uh, the grow box with the perlite and I mean, she's still alive. Moving below that, we have Philodendron Strawberry Shake. Look at these gorgeous leaves. Oh, this plant is just so amazing. You can see a root over here coming out to say hello. And last but not least in this prop box, this is the Philodendron Melanochrysum. So I can tell you now this leaf is new right over here that didn't exist before this leaf over here is new she's a little cutie this is new there's just so many new leaves like even beneath here that's a new leaf crazy there are some roots over here and yeah uh i don't know if i'm gonna take her out anytime soon but i mean she's so cute wow Okay, so I am going to close up this box and then I'm just going to move around <laughs> my plant room to show you the rest of the propagations. Okay guys, so I'm going to end this video here. That I guess concludes part one of looking at my propagations. I will put up a part two that will probably be out in a couple days, I think Thursday. And yeah, in that video I'm just going to be walking around the plant room 
and showing you the other propagations. So I want to know what you guys are currently propagating in your prop box if you have one. They are honestly lifesavers and I only recently started doing this. I think it was January I started. And if you've made it to the very end, thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate it. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.